She looks like she's got no idea what's going on all the time. <laughs> she looks like me. Nope, nope, you would not catch me doing that. <laughs> He's picking his toe jam. <laughs> Such a child. Oh, my mouth went all watery all of a sudden. Oh, that's deep. I like pussy stuff. Oh, I might cry. Okay, okay, I know I said no more westerns for a while, but I am allowed one. It's just one. And I did go a while, like a week. <laughs> I just really wanted to see another one. And then I'll go a while. <laughs> Maybe. We're back to John Wayne again. I know we watched a lot of Clint Eastwood, so we're back to John Wayne. And this one is The Searchers. John Wayne, Western. I have a patron that knows all about the Westerns, so I'm sure he's told me things about The Searchers, but I just don't remember. Um, sorry. <laughs> but then it's good, because then I don't know much, and I just go in blind like I always do, and that's the way I like it. Uh, if you're mad at me for doing more Westerns, <laughs> you have to subscribe, comment, like, Patreon, post notifications. Uh, even if you're not mad, you still have to do those things because it's nice. Be nice. And here we go. This archer is ready and play. Guarantee I'm going to love this dress. <laughs> yep, I love it. I want one. Look at their dresses. So nice. It's your Uncle Ethan. Uncle Ethan. Welcome home, Ethan. I can't see who it is. Lucy. Oh, it's John Wayne. Hi, Deborah. There's Lucy over there. <laughs> I was just going to ask Uncle Ethan what he's going to do with the saber. Well, I kind of figured to give it to you. Thanks. Ah. <laughs> Give the ten-year-old a sword. Some will be ready as soon as you wash up. Let me take your coat for you, Ethan. He looks old. Welcome home, Ethan. Thanks, Sarah. He doesn't look the same. Someone told me that his walk is fake because he didn't walk like a cowboy. So he had to make his own walk. Was Ethan found you after your folks had been massacred? It just happened to be me. I need to make more of it. Ah, okay. Okay. If looks could kill. Night Ma, night Pa. Uncle Ethan, will you tell us about the war? He's got such a deep voice. The war ended three years ago, boy. Why didn't you come home before now? Dad, go on with Ma. He's been busy. Lucy's wearing the gold locket you gave her when she was a little girl. She don't wear it much on account of it makes her neck green. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap. I didn't care if you gave me a gold locket if it made my neck green or not. Aww. Look at my gold locket. Bed, young lady. Yes, Dad. Bed. They're so obedient. <laughs> I expect to pay my way. There's 60 double eagles in there. Double eagles? That's fresh minted. There ain't a mark on it. So? What's that mean? It's stolen. Where would they sleep if there wasn't a spare bedroom? Like, just on the floor? Who? I thought there was a way to be some trouble. <laughs> They've just turned up unannounced and are expecting food and coffee. Thank you, sister. I'm sure fond of them donuts. Aaron? That's so funny. Where was I? Faithfully fulfilled. You will faithfully discharge your Edwards. Shut up! Here goes Uncle Ethan. The Reverend Samuel Johnson Clayton. The prodigal brother. When did you get back? Yesterday. Might be that this daughter and old idiot ain't so far wrong. Could be Comanche. Kind words, Ethan. Thank you kindly. <laughs> I'll swear you in. No need to. Wouldn't be legal anyway. You wanted for a crime, Ethan? He's wanted for a crime. For one oath at a time. I took mine to the Confederate States of America. So did you, Sam. I can't believe they're eating donuts. When were they invented? Grateful to the hospitality of your rocking chair, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I do like a rocking chair. Brad, Lucy, Lucy and Brad. Debbie and Ben Edwards, I'm going to tell Ma and you. Oh, he looks a lot older than her. Ooh. 
she looks like she's got no idea what's going on all the time. <laughs> she looks like me. She's like... <laughs> Mighty fishy about this trail, Uncle Ethan. Don't call me uncle. I can whoop you to a frazzle. Does he not like him because he's part Cherokee? Is that why? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, there's lots. One, two, three, four, five. There's at least five. Killed every one of them. Not for food either. Why they no. do a thing like that? Yeah, why? It was just to pull us out. Shapes up to scald out either your place or my brother's. Brad, oh. Brad! Oh, quickly then, go back. If they're not there, we'll come straight on to you. Come on, Quickly. Ah. Why are you not moving? These horses need rest and grain. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> Quiet, boy. What do you see, dog? It's very orange. Look at the sky. I wish Uncle Ethan was here. Don't you, Ma? Oh, I see something. Yeah, yeah, there's something there. Oh, that child have been like, good boy. Oh, she's panicking. What? What? <coughs> Why is she screaming? Well, I don't get it. What's happening? Are they surrounded? By who? And you creep along the ditch. Very quietly. You won't make a sound or come back no matter what you hear. Oh god. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Oh my god. Chris, go back. Go back, Chris. Oh. Go back. Oh no, she's not being quiet. Oh god. What did that mean? Wait a minute, Uncle Ethan! Next time you'll mind your Uncle Ethan! Wait, where's, where's your horse? What happened to your horse? Oh my god, whose house is that? Is that his brother's house? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Can you see them though? Because they might still be alive. Don't let him look in there, Mose. They must all be in there. Oh, that was sad. Put an amen to it. There's no more time for bread. Amen. Oh, I feel so sick. That's so awful. Take care of her boys as well as her girls. And if the girls are dead, don't let the boys waste their lives in vengeance. Wait, are they good are they all dead? Or what or was it just the auntie? And why did they do that? What started it? What is he breathing? This has come a long way before he died, Captain. Why? Oh, I thought I saw him breathing. <laughs> Torgerson! Why don't you finish the job? I thought he was already dead. I'm so confused. What good did that do you? Ain't got no eyes. He can't enter the spirit land. Has to wander forever between the wind. Oh, interesting. You right sure you want to jump him, Ethan? I thought we were trying to get them girls out. Alive. Girls? What girls? So the... Oh, okay. So they did just kill the... Martha. What about the boy? Command Sean Footsmore have to be willing to listen. Yeah, I think the Reverend's right, don't you? What is a quarter breed Cherokee? I think he said one eighth. I say we do it my way, Ethan, and that's an order. But if you're wrong, don't ever give me another. He'll be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I cannot stand frogs and toads and that noise is giving me the absolute fear. Nope, nope, you would not catch me doing that. What if their tribe is like humongous and there's only what? Ten of you guys? Uh oh. That means something. Wanna quit, Ethan? That'll be the day. He just wants to do it a different way. Keep on going. Oh my god, did you not see him? That's the chief. Cause he's got the big headband, and that's how you know. 
they're not scared. They're coming right towards you. Because when I holler, I want you to move out of here like Billy B. Digger. Your horses won't manage, they'll be too tired. Let's go! Oh my god. Oh, how did you get away so fast? Can't keep trying, yes? I'm on the other side of the river. I'll do the television. There's something so scary about someone chasing you, and it doesn't even have to be someone bad. <laughs> Just somebody random chasing you. It's a horrible feeling. <laughs> and now there's two chiefs. Yes, son. War chief, he's got it a safe face. Yes, sir, he'll be right in your lap in a minute, sonny. Oh, I, I don't like that. <laughs> There's a lot more of them than there is of you guys. Oh, they're running away. Blast it. Watch it, it's loaded. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I thought they were running away. They are. They are running away. Leave them carry off their hurt and dead. No, and you stay out of this. All of you. Why would you do that? Why? You, what was the harm in shooting another one? Me, I'm going on alone. Any objections? Good luck. <laughs> Any objections? Good luck. Only one way you can stop me from looking for Lucy, Mister, and that's kill me. That's the way I feel, Uncle Ethan. Oh, Ethan. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, but I'm giving the orders here. I'm giving the orders. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy with that. Sure, Ethan. Just one reason we're here, ain't it? To find Debbie and Lucy? What about the boy? There was a little boy as well. So there's just the three of them now, then? They're with them, all right, if they're still alive. But if I hear that from you again, I'll fight you, Mr. Edwards. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> yeah, try it. I want to see that. I'll take a look. Keep after the others. I'll meet you on the far side. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea separating. Don't leave them two alone. Well? You want some water, Ethan? What did you see? Was there water in that canyon? Huh? No water. Are yeah, you all right, Ethan? No, he saw something. He's upset. I found him! I found Lucy! What? Really? She was wearing that blue dress and she What was... you saw wasn't Lucy. What you saw was a buck. What? I found Lucy back in the canyon. Wrapped her in my coat. Buried her with my own hands. <sighs> what was she? What do you want me to do? Draw your picture? Spell it out? Don't ever ask me. Oh. Imagine having to see that. It's a good job he went and you two didn't. Hey, friend. Did he just get himself killed? Oh, it's just the two years left. Oh dear lord. So now you're just looking for the littler girl. She's alive, she's safe. How do you know? So we'll find him in the end, I promise you. Sure as a turn of the earth. Yeah, but guys, there's only two of you. That poor girl, she must be petrified. <laughs> She's happy to see them. <laughs> what do you call the big rock mountains that are shaped like that? Because they're so strange. What are they called? Mountains? Like rock hills. Probably can't even call your name to mine. Well, her name's Lori. Fairly forgot just how pretty she was. <laughs> She's very forward. Hey, what are you doing anyway? getting so red in the face about it. I got brothers, ain't I? Yeah, well, I ain't one of them. <laughs> They're all different. How you can ever make out to be bashful in front of a woman, I'll never know. Well, you talk like a fella just might as well run around naked. Wouldn't bother me, nothing. It wouldn't bother me either. Sure wouldn't try and firm follow if I was you. <laughs> I got it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Someday this country's gonna be a fine, good place. Maybe it needs our bones in the ground before that time can come. Bad time. <laughs> Ever see it before? Yes, it was in April. Have they found her yet? Not yet. <laughs> He's picking his toe jam. Gloria, come. Let the boys get to bed. 
Alright, Pa. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh. Good night, Lori. She loves you. He's agreed to take you on. I'm pushing on tomorrow. Well, I sure ain't gonna stay here. I started out looking for Debbie. I intend to keep on. Yeah, he's not gonna stay. She's no kin to you at all. Where folks took me in, they raised me. That don't make you no kin. Yeah, it does. Martin, there's something I want you to know. Yeah, I know what you want me to know. What? I got no kin, I got no money, no horses. Well, you told me that already, so shut your mouth. What a shame. <laughs> Such a child. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to tell him? Did you sleep well? No, I tossed and turned and dreamed. Of you. Aww. <laughs> oh, they're so awkward. I love it. I'll get you coffee. So cute. Maybe it's about time you and me start going steady, huh? Well, Martin, Polly, you and me been going steady since we was three years old. We have? <laughs> What with all this trouble with, with Debbie and Ethan, I just... Ethan wrote on an hour ago. Oh, he did. I don't know what you can do about finding Debbie that he can't. He'll find her now, Martin. Honest, he will. Yeah, but it's better with two. If this here's a piece of your child's dress, bring reward. Do you understand? Did that letter say bring a reward? <laughs> so someone thinks they know where she is and you ha in, um, Ethan's got to bring a reward to for information. Is that right? I've been hanging around this godforsaken windscar for two long years waiting for you. Aww. But I just gotta catch up with Ethan. Go ahead and catch up with him, man. She'll still be there when you get back. She'll be there. Said he belonged to a captive child of Chief Scar, but this buck claimed he was a big war chief with a Noyaki Comanche. And he's got Scar. You can spend the night. Cards, a jug. If you'd like oh, to thanks. Oh, you're going straight there. Back with my thousand dollars. It ain't yours yet. <laughs> if he finds her, he's not coming back. What can you do about it? Nothing. You wait to leave him. Oh, come on now, Ethan. Don't put any more wood in the fire. I'm burning up. He's a way to leave you, I think. Just wait until you fall asleep. Comfortable? Ethan, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good night. I don't think you're gonna get far. He'll follow you. He'll follow you wherever you go. Who are you? Who is that? Is that the folk from back at the traders? Jafarman. Yeah. Ethan, what are you doing anyway? Get my money back, you idiot. What do you suppose? <laughs> Is that what he was after, your money? Why, you just stake me out there like a piece of bait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if you'd missed? Never occurred to me. He doesn't miss. Yeah, that. So the what is that? And what do you call it? Because we don't have them here. Got me a letter here. Who in one year, by golly. <laughs> two letters in one year. He's come with a letter and he's come a court and two, by golly. Oh, that's lovely. They get so excited to see people. It's my letter. Well, of course, it's sure, here, but, but read it. Go ahead, read it. <laughs> I would never. I would read it first, just to make sure there's nothing in it. The late Mr. Futterman told us about. The late Mr. Futterman. Yeah. Mr. Futterman is dead, by golly. Oh, the yeah, bed. Ethan shot Go him. Ahead, <laughs> 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 they like the hats. <laughs> It's so colourful. I asked if there was a white girl with him. I got sullen, suspicious. Well, they're not... Oh, there's someone following you. What's she following us for? Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I changed my mind. You can keep your blanket. She likes you. You didn't buy any blanket. You bought her. You, you bought got her? yourself a wife. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Polly. 
Come on, this is Polly. You could use her. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> thing I got to tell you be you got married how I got myself accidentally married a little Comanche squaw oh read the rest so he married a Comanche squaw ha 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 <laughs> she wasn't near as old as you. How old does he think I am? Why would you say that? <laughs> I think he meant to say something else. Looks like Mrs. Polly's gonna make you a fine, dutiful wife. Oh, cut it out, will you? <laughs> she says her name is Wild Goose, flying in the night sky. Wild Goose? Oh, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> She going to sleep next to him. <laughs> oh, she is. <laughs> you can't do that to the poor woman. What a shame. See now, open set. Got a nice scar. Nummy. Nummy, sister. Oh, she knows. And she doesn't want to be married anymore. <laughs> She's done. Looks gone. Hold out in the night. Not surprised. Maybe you ought to follow her? How should I know? She's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> See, we needed some meat, so we circle around and come up on him afoot. Oh, oh. Oh, my mouth went all watery all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm drooling at the thought of eating one of those. <laughs> Look at the size of it. No sense. Hunger, empty bellies, that's the sense that makes your blanket head. You already got one. You don't need more than one or it'll go off by the time you can eat it. Oh, that's deep. That's really deep snow. <laughs> Look at that horse, it was blonde. The ones we've been looking for all this time. Ooh. Marty. Oh, there's his wife. Look was doing there, whether she'd come to warn him or maybe to find Debbie for me, there's no way of knowing. Nope, not anymore. We're looking for a girl, white girl, Captain. Should be about 14 now. Really? How long's passed? What's this girl to you? She's, She's my, my niece. <laughs> One moment. She's your nothing. <laughs> She's not all right. Stand up, please. <laughs> Debbie? Is that her? That's not her. That's not her. <laughs> How many years has passed since she went missing? Uh, <sighs> They never find that girl. I think they will. They must find her. Right at the end. He had to sign his whole name, Martin Paul. He couldn't write just Marty. I don't care if he never comes back. Yes, you do. Charlie, you stay for supper. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Skip to Maloo, my darling. Oh, lovely. That was nice. Recognize it? <laughs> that? Couldn't be two like that in the whole world. He's got a little sombrero on. Yay! Just a roof over old Moses' head and a rocking chair by the fire. Aww. Bless him. Girl, you got your rocking chair. Swear it, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah. I found a man has seen her. Knows where little Debris is. Who is this man? I am this man, senor. <laughs> that man right there. At your service. For a price. Always for a price. Why always for a price? Just help find the girl. Salud. Safest. I'm not sure I'm digging your shirt. <laughs> Looks like a tablecloth. Let's talk a little business. How are you so rich? Did it say at the start? 
Mosh, will you hold his trees? You know where to get yourself another wife. <laughs> Never heard of him. Secret trees is Mexican for scar. Scar, yeah. Holy shit, look what you've done. <laughs> Hasta luego, señor. Hasta luego. Imagine that thing fell down and it just pfft, on top of you. That's not a rock mountain, that's a rock tower. She's not going to be the same girl anymore. Oh, I'm guessing your scar. Same way as right, we come to trade. Well, ain't not out here. I don't stand talking in the wind. Where's the girl? Is she there or not? What was that? What happened there? <laughs> you speak good command. Someone teach you? Yeah, who taught you? Two sons killed by white men. For each son, I take many scalps. Scalps. <gasps> Is that her? That's her. Is that Debbie? Oh, God. Oh, that's people's scalps. It's her. Well, you've seen scalps before. I haven't. This before. Oh, yeah. Say, so give it back. Not to admire his collection. Tell him we'll pitch camp the other side of the creek. Talk tomorrow. He's not going to talk tomorrow. He's going to come back tonight and grab her. I hope. She seemed all right. She seems like she's doing okay. You think old Scar means to kill us? Mm -hmm. We've been asking for it for five years. Five years. Oh, I thought it would be longer than that. Why, you want to pull out too? Oh, oh, something behind you. Big shoulders. Look, look guys. Is it her? Debbie? It's her. Und mehr. Oh, don't you remember me, Debbie? She must remember. First I prayed to you, come and get me. didn't come. But I've come now. They were coming the whole time. Und mehr. Go. Stand aside, Martin. Ethan, no, you don't. What? Oh, no. Debbie. Shit. Where did Debbie go? And is Ethan badly injured? Oh, he's trapped. You're trapped! What? Oh, I thought they were running away. They're not. Oh my god. You don't have enough ammo. You two are going to get scalped and I don't want to see that. Oh my god, you did it. <gasps> Did it? How? Where were you shot? Looks as how I'm gonna have to open that shoulder again. Get the poison out. Can I see that? <laughs> I like pussy stuff. Do hereby huh? bequeath means leave. <laughs> All my to him property of any kind to him. To you. Martin Pauly. Yeah. But Debbie's your flight, Ken. Not no more, she ain't. You was getting all set to shoot her yourself. Was he going to shoot her? You died. That'll be the day. He doesn't look well. Was he actually a way to shoot her? Charlie, you look right handsome. I'd hardly know you. I ain't hardly recognize the fire. All right, Rangers. Let's go. Let's get it going. Is someone getting married? What's happening? Laurie's not marrying that Charlie guy, is she? Hey, you don't suppose they're throwing a party for us, do you? No, they're not. <laughs> What's going on anyway? The... <laughs> oh, yeah, she is. I didn't think he would be our type. Looks like you two will have a lot to talk about. Come on, Lars. Keaton, hide in the barn. What for? Hide in the barn. Well, you did kill him, but it was self-defense. Bar open. Ethan, any news of our little girl? Yeah, they found her. Marty with you? Yep. I wrote you one letter. Now what do you do? And 
letter in five years. But at least said you loved me. I always loved you. Thought you knew that without me having to say it. We need reassurance. <laughs> Reckon the best thing for me to do is go away. Do Martin, Polly, and I'll just die. Just marry him instead. I'm sure you can. <laughs> I'm sure that can be arranged. Oh. I'll thank you to unhand my fiancé. <laughs> mean you're going to be marrying him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> After you, Morty. After you, Charlie. Oh, Reverend Clayton! Just once you're done, borrow his suit and then you can marry her. Oh, boys. I think they came Martin, back just Tommy. in time. There's she's smiling. <laughs> no biting or gouging. No, 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 kicking. no kicking? That's not fair. Hey, wait a minute, Marty. Somebody's fiddle. Somebody's fiddle. <laughs> Why, you started it. Marty! Yeah. Oh, you said no. Don't forget you're a lady. I would want to watch. Come on, Charlie! Come on, Charlie! 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 Hey, come on, Charlie! Has he knocked him out? Oh, come on, I want you boys to shake hands and make friends. But who gets the woman? Bye-bye! Ain't gonna be no wedding! Not till we get a few things cleared up around here. I don't... She doesn't want to marry him, does she? Well, I'm talking to you now as a ranger. I'll have to ask you for your gun. To hell with that. Keep it. Well, if it's all the same to you, Reverend, I ain't going to Austin. You're going to the captain's search oh, Charlie! What a mess. I'm Captain Clayton. The Colonel wants to know Is your head cold? No, sir. Is your head cold? Yeah, he's a Yankee cavalryman. I resent that, sir. Just funny, <laughs> son, just funny. <laughs> we received information about a band of Comanches under a chief named Scar. Oh. Picked up a man claims he was a prisoner with Scar only two days ago. He says he lives here. Keeps mentioning a rocking chair. Oh. <gasps> Bones. Take his arms, sir. Is he okay? Come from a rocking chair. Bring him to the fire. Watch it! Oh, Please don't let him die. Seven fingers. That's what he told us, but there's no such place on the maps. Seven fingers. Isn't that the Caddo name for where all them canyons join under the Malapai? Seven Caddo fingers. Or... Wait, that's where they are. <laughs> My rocking chair. Don't want the rock. Yeah. You'll get it. Ethan, you and Martin are here by appointed civilian scouts. Without pay. She d I don't think she wants to be rescued. Oh yeah, he's away again. <laughs> You're not gonna get your wedding. You're not going. Not this time. He's going, all right. Do you know what Ethan will do if he has a chance? Put a bullet in her brain. Tell you, Martha would want him to. Only if I'm dead. Wow. He won't. He won't. Will he? He won't. Will he? Nah, he won't. How many you figure? About a dozen each. Enough to go around. A dozen each, is that what he said? The state of Texas paying you 12 Yankee dollars a month. Now's your chance to earn it. 12 dollars a month, is that what he said? We go charging in, they'll kill her and you know it. What I'm counting on. Now son, I know this is a bitter thing to say. The last time you were in charge, it didn't go well, so I think one of these two need to be. You remember that scalp strung on Scar's lance? Don't try to tell me it was Aunt Martha's or Lucy's. It was your mother's. How do you, what, how do you know? All I'm asking for is a chance to sneak in there and get her out before you come charging in. You go right ahead, son. She might scream. It's your funeral. How did you know it was his mom's scalp? Why don't you have your bugler blow the charge while you're at it? Troops about 10 miles back. Colonel sent me out looking for you. 10 miles. On a horse. That must be like 20 minutes away. Maybe more. I don't aim to raise no two hollers on any subject at hand. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Sorry, sir. I think the sun's coming up. Mount! 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 M-O-N-T-E! Mount! I thought you wasn't going to order twice. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. 
There's people, there's other people in there. Oh, I knew she would scream. I'm gonna get you out of here, Debbie. Oh, yes, Marty. Oh, yes, Marty. Oh, I thought she didn't want to go. <laughs> oh, you better hurry. Get her out of there fast. There's me run off that pony. Boy, you watch out for that knife. <laughs> He's gonna accidentally sword someone. <laughs> Oh God! Why is he not giving her a chance just to see, just to see how she is? She might be completely fine. Oh. Let's go home, Debbie. Oh. Yay! Does that hurt, Reverend? Shut up! Do you get shot in the ass? <laughs> I wasn't sure she wanted to go home. You wounded? Bullet? An arrow? No. What, what was it then? <laughs> Did someone bite you in the ass? A Scottish rocking chair. She's back. Is she going to be okay? But where, oh, Lord. oh, I might cry. Right away. They're not going to come back for her, are they? Oh, no! I don't, I don't want that to be the end. I need to know things. Did they manage to kill that Scar guy? Who did he scalp? Was it the Scar man? Is she safe now? They're not ever going to come back for her, are they? Why did she not want to go back with him and then she did want to go back to him? Was she just confused the first time she saw them? Five years is a long time to be living with someone else. I know you don't like it when I say it too much and I'm not even doing this one quietly. It's the best movie ever. Best movie ever. They're all best movie ever because they're all amazing movies. If they weren't amazing movies, then you wouldn't be suggesting them. So it's all your fault. I blame you. I really loved it because it was Western. It was funny. It was action. It was romance. It was wholesome. It was lovely. It had John Wayne. Best movie ever. The last time I watched a movie that had Scalpin in it, I think was the last of the Mohicans, and I really don't like the thought of it. I think that's something else I'll have to add to my list of things I can't do. It's because I know that they would still be alive after it, and they would have like a whole chunk of their head chopped off. I don't like it. I'm laughing because I'm nervous. It's the thought of someone scalping. I don't like it. Was the Scarman the one that we saw at the very start that seen Debbie beside her grandma's grave? Was that the same? man. I don't remember him having a scar but maybe he got his scar later on and that's how he got his name. I wasn't picking my nose, it's just itchy. <laughs> Did they keep her because she was young and they keep them when they're young and then they can like bring them up in their tribe and they didn't keep the older one because she was too old and then they killed the, the mom, the aunt, Martha I think her name was at the very beginning because she was definitely too old. I'm really not familiar with the whole cowboy and Indian thing. In fact, I know it's offensive to call them Indians, it's Native American. So, I, like their tribes, all their different tribes, does, is everyone aware of what they are? Or were they made up for the movies? Or are there well-known tribes? In fact, even today, is there like still tribes today? And what are they? I love like the whole paint and the, um, what would you call that? Their headdress, the feathers, and the bands, and I love how they're like topless, but they have tri full on trousers. I just love it. I love the way that they dress. That, yeah, it's the way they dress and the way they present themselves. <laughs> and then I guess it's different for each different tribe, like slightly different. And then that's how you know who, which, which tribe is which. And then what is Thanksgiving? Is that something to do with the Native Americans or? Yeah, I think it is, but I, I, that's something else I'm not familiar with. I need you guys to tell me all these things so that I can be more educated and I know what I'm talking about. And I don't want to knowingly offend anyone. This is not things that we got taught in our schools and then sometimes people learn these things by watching movies and you know I don't watch these movies. I am now <laughs> and I've said before this is my education now you guys are teaching me. Oh also why were the Native Americans and the 
Americans? The cowboys? <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> the cowboys? Why did they... Why were they always fighting? What started that? Was it over land? Or was, it, was it about who owned land? I feel like that's what it would have been. Or over a woman, maybe. Let me know. I'm very interested. I love learning about history. Anyway, best movie ever. And I promise there won't be another Western for at least another day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really like them. Okay, if you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning and staying. And you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also, check out Patreon if you haven't already. There's lots of fun stuff on there already. And patrons get one week early access and full reactions. And what else do you need to do? Comment, like, post notifications, all that good stuff. And I'm going to go. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.